I want to talk to you about the use of period instruments and modern instruments in Baroque music, specifically the music of Bach and in particular the St Matthew Passion, which is such a dramatic piece, has so much scope for varied expression. I've chosen three recordings. I'm going to play a very brief extract from all three, the same extract. First of all, uh, 1970, Nikolaus Arnoncor with Kurt Echthilus uh, as the evangelist. Then from 1953, Hermann Scherchen with uh, Hugh Queno as the evangelist. And last of all, Willem Mengelberg recorded on Palm Sunday in 1939 on film, I believe, uh, with Karl Erb as a highly dramatic uh, evangelist. In fact, uh, Erb and Mengelberg between them virtually turned the St Matthew Passion into a sort of opera. Now, the passage I've chosen is from the second half of the work, where the evangelist sings, and behold, the veil of the temple was rent in twain from the top to the bottom, and the earth did quake, and the rocks rent, and the graves were opened, and many bodies of the saints which slept arose. Now, first of all, I will play you the highly mobile Arnoncourt recording, of course, on, on period instruments, very light, quite swift, beautifully sung by Ecvilus, but very different to the other two. Here goes. <laughs> Now that was Arnoncourt with um, Ecvilus, called Ecvilus as the evangelist. Now I'm going to play you Hermann Scherken with Hugh Quay. Now the interesting thing here is that where with Arnoncourt and Ecvilus you have a consistent tempo, fairly swift, which stays its course at that tempo until the end of that short passage. With Scherken, he starts off at virtually the same tempo as Arnoncourt, but gradually slows down towards the end of the passage until at the end of it you get the uh, thudding, well not quite thudding, but pulsing basses. Um, a very interesting effect, but it's more flexible than Arnoncourt, uh, and I think slightly more expressive, but but see what you think. <laughs> see what I mean about that reduction in tempo. I want you to attend in particular to the rent rocks, the torn rocks, Felsen, Zerissen. And when you listen to the Mengelberg recording of that passage with Karl Erb, he really screams virtually those two words. It has real anger in, in the delivery. Uh, and to me, it's one of the most remarkable passages in what is overall a remarkable performance. <laughs> Oh, 
Now that's positively Wagnerian, the flexibility, the weight of tone, the way Erb sings there, the way he and Mengelberg relate, the power of the playing. Now, obviously I'm not suggesting that everybody goes out and plays a St Matthew Passion like that. That would be totally ridiculous. But we learn from it. We learn what is possible. Now I'll tell you something interesting about that. Years ago I gave a talk to a room full of doctors about classical music and people who didn't necessarily know very much and I played them the that same passage with Mengelberg and another period instrument performance which is quite like our encores. After I played it, you're not you're talking about people who weren't necessarily informed about performance practice. I asked for a show of hands who preferred the Mengelberg and who preferred the period instrument performance. One person preferred the period instrument performance. That shows you what sort of impact that performance had, and you can get it on Naxos. It's it's wonderful, uh, but maybe not for every day of the week. Um, I want to tell you another little tale, a personal tale about Bach, because for me Bach has cropped up at many times in my life as a significant composer and underlying situations which have either been emo emotionally fraught or uplifting, um, and this was one of those occasions. I had an uncle called Philip, his name was Philip Zeck, he was quite a famous cartoonist during the war, in fact a very famous cartoonist during the war, but towards the end of his life he went blind, I used to go around, I used to read to him, I used to make him cups of tea, do him his shopping and so forth. Wasn't in the slightest bit musical, but he loved me to read stories to him and bits from the newspapers etc. Keep him up to date with the news. Now. I one day I arrived and he used to listen to the radio sometimes and I went into the kitchen to make him a cup of tea and um, I heard him twiddling with the knob of the radio going from one station to the other and suddenly he alighted upon the cantata Wachet auf by Bach and I couldn't believe it he stayed with it he didn't move on to a a spoken word program he stayed with that now this is going to sound terribly sentimental but it was almost like for those few minutes there had been some sort of divine visitation and a ray of hope and the effect of that performance at that particular time was quite amazing um, the performance I like most at the moment is Fritz Werner out on Warner's, Karl Richter as well, um, but this is the music we heard. Thank you for watching.